Hello Internet, this is Kawa. Welcome back to Flatcore. Uh, I'm currently in the Nether Highway. This is the South Nether Highway, which has recently been upgraded. Uh, and we're heading out to uh, what I'm hoping will become my secondary base. We're just going to be working there for a little bit, uh, managing resources over there and all of that jazz. I am going south, right? Yep. Good. So this is definitely a work in progress. Uh, donations are always welcome. I, I have been planning to be on the build team for this, but I have been busy, so perhaps in the future. Uh, I'm low on food, but we'll be fine once we get where we're going. Okay, I think this is the portal. Might not be. Might be too far back. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Um... So, I'm based... Here, this way. Um... I'm basically near... X equals positive 600, Z equals positive 2200, give or take. Uh, it's a bit of a ways out from the public portals. Unfortunately, I haven't linked my personal portal to the highway yet because I'm all the way down at... I want to say Y equals... 31 is where my, my portal ended up, whereas my, uh, oh, I can't, I can't sprint and it's almost nighttime. Oh, this, this might suck. This might suck. This looks like a public raided village. There's some, ah, uh, there we go. There's a, uh, there's a crafting bench. Gimme. Hang it! Hang it! I've been watching too much facts, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a. Good enough. Um. I should have brought food. That's my own fault. I'm gonna leave this here for whoever ends up needing it. And get a little bread. Need another. Let's make two more. There we go. Um, oh, that's not the direction I want to go. This is the direction I want to go. Anyway, um, so um, the portal I made here in the overworld. Uh, corresponded to Y equals 32 in the, in the nether and the nether highway is not is all the way up at Y equals I think 110? It's over 100 so digging upwards is not a good strategy especially considering one of the changes between flat core and vanilla is that uh, fire spread is very different uh, and just breaking nether rack can cause fire spread but, uh, in contrast, so I, I kind of have to wait until I get my hands on a diamond pick to move my, my other portal, which is a bit of a shame, but until then, the long walk is not really all that bad. Anyway, I really just got unsettled here. I had a lot of trouble with dying, um, because I didn't actually set up a house over where I'm about to show you. I'm basically slowly but surely trying to claim the entirety of a village and hoping to use the villagers and whatnot to, you know, make something really extravagant. But I'm I'm really far behind. Which is a shame. Here we go. So that wall and that portal is my setup. I've claimed up to the edge of the wall. As of right now, I'm pretty sure I can do more than that now. Uh, you earn claim box on the server by uh, playing off, um, playing non um, AFK often, as well as by doing uh, interesting posts to the subreddit and other such challenges. Anyway, drink. Um. So, 
yeah, this is the village as I currently have it. As I said, I've barely done anything, if anything, to it. Um, but I have started claiming it, which is the first uh, step towards progress. And I guess today we can work on revising th this house to be a little more livable. I mean, it, it's okay right now. It, it's a pre-made structure and it'll work. But, uh, we'll, we'll start setting up, uh, setting things up over there and whatnot. So I've moved my, uh, uh, my cobble gen here, which is great. Uh, Oh, I forgot to uh, enter to the last challenge. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, have a handful of emeralds so far. In here is my first uh, emerald trading villager, which is always handy. This raw chicken deal is also great, but I don't have access to chickens just yet. I'll need to earn them somehow. Hopefully these eggs will give me luck, otherwise I'll need to keep hunting for eggs. And my inventory is a mess. Okay. Uh, I had trees planted here, but I moved them out. I, um, I was having a lot of trouble with monsters spawning around here because I didn't put down enough torches and it's completely dark and abandoned outside of this general region. Oh, uh, goodness. Um, so let me plant a couple of trees just to uh, get that wood sustainable again. I guess I can make fence gates uh, and close off this wall for now. It's not like I'm expecting visitors. I, I wanted to keep this at least somewhat open so people wouldn't have to use the... Uh, trapped command but um <laughs> uh, chat is always a funny thing on this on this server sometimes it's great and sometimes it's terrible but i guess that's true with uh any public server anywhere right so let's see first let's uh Grab some wood. Grab that pressure plate. Cause... I think I can pull this off, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Instead of uh, putting a button there. So I can just... Every time I pass by it... <laughs> Push down, uh, push it down. It's kind of neat. Uh, I need a pickaxe. I can put the seeds away. Uh, I want to finish the walls. I guess first things first, I really should just sort my freaking inventory. Which means... Making a whole bunch of chests. And going with that for now. Okay, um, I think I'm going to use that house to be my storage. Oh, okay. Need to expand the claim to down here. Makes sense. Anyway, um, while I'm working, I, I told you guys before that, uh, this, uh, okay, that's my current claim. How much would it cost me to do that? 243 more. Uh, 
How about this coin? That seems plausible. Uh, that's one corner. I guess the other corner is inside. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this corner goes here. And this corner goes here. There we go. So now I've claimed that house too. And I only have 27 blocks left. Oh dear. Anyway, um, so, uh, let's get some signs, let's get, um, and while I'm moving stuff around, let me tell you some stories. Um, so, as you guys know, I took a really long break from Let's Playing in general and Minecraft in particular. Um, particularly starting around February. I, I had sort of been inactive before then, just out of personal laziness. But it was really happening at that point. And what happened... So, at the end of February, my dad was in a car accident. Now, to be accurate, and to be fair, my dad was... Uh, I'm going to turn chat off. Hold on. Anyway, um, basically I just went into a private channel that only has me so I don't have to see the main flatcore chat. I, I don't want to deal with flatcore and drama right now, so sorry guys. Anyway, um, so where was I? Oh yeah. So my dad was on his way to work. Uh, really early in the morning, before dawn. Uh, remember, this was late February in New York City. So yeah, before dawn. Um, before like. 5.30 in the morning for a 6 a.m. start time. And he was, um, he was on his, on his way to work really early in the morning, really dark, and basically, uh, Whoever was driving, so he was walking. He was he was walking down a very large street uh, on his way to work. Uh, he worked as an electrician in a hospital. Uh, it was one of the hospitals that was seriously affected by Hurricane Sandy, so they had been working really long hours, really hard uh, to get things back to normal. And so yeah, he had to come in really early and it was dark and late and he um, he was walking and a bus, uh, public transit, really common in New York, uh, basically drove right past um, breaking a against the red light, so my dad was walking correctly, you know, in terms of the light versus on versus the light off, um, and this other person wasn't, and hit my dad and ran. 
this is about as crappy as you might expect. Uh, to put it bluntly. So, my dad, um, thank God, the only thing that happened was that both of his legs broke. So, that was three months ago. It's only now that he's starting to be able to walk very slowly and for very short periods of time without a cane. He can't stand for very long. Stairs are difficult, um, which is really hard considering our house is tiny and two floors. Um, we, uh, we did a lot. We moved beds down. Um, we moved a bed down to the first floor. Um, actually, it was my bed, so I've been sleeping in the master bedroom. He's taken over my bed downstairs, and my mom has been sleeping on the couch pretty much every day for the past three months, um, ever since he got back from the hospital. He has rods in both legs now. Um, been in physical therapy. Um, at the hospital, then at home, now outpatient, and yeah, uh, it's it's rough. Progress is slow. It's very often fairly literally two steps forward and one step back, uh, and a lot of my life sort of went in a holding pattern when it happened to take care of him, to be there for him, you know. He can't stand long enough to really cook much. Uh, he, at the beginning, you know, we were emptying out his urinals and helping him take sponge baths, which is just crazy when you have a dad who is always really independent and really safety focused. That That's the thing that really kills me. You know, he wasn't jaywalking. He's always been really cautious and really safe, and he's the one that this happens to. And that's that's hard, and that's um, something we're all learning to deal with. Mm. I've been standing here staring at that sign the whole time. Really, really riveting, riveting uh, YouTubing. Sorry. Um, Yeah, it, it has been a long and weird, really distinctly weird couple of months. Um, that's, that's the only words I have for it. It has been really strange and I mean, my life was far from perfect before it happened. Um, you guys know I was horribly underemployed and then pretty much became unemployed at the end of January. Um, and the student loans don't stop just because you don't have the money to pay for them. Uh, I'm, I've been in the same relationship for almost seven years now and we're still not married, not because we can't or anything like that, but because we can't afford it. You know, um, no one warns you. No one warns you that life is, well, they try to warn you that life is less than simple and then you choose to believe them. That's what happened to me anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh, those can't open. Oh, don't tell me that's a hole. It's not. Good. I didn't think about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's it's been 
a really, really difficult past couple of months. Um, I appreciate all of your patience as I continue to work out, you know, what's next, what this all means, how uh, I'm going to deal with the future. And be kind to each other, I guess that's, and be cautious, and be ready for anything in the world to happen to you. That's really the, the only crappy advice I have. Uh, and it's crappy advice, but it'll have to do. But yeah, um, it, it, it's been a weird experience, as I said. Um, I'm really just the most abled person in my family right now. Um, my my mom has always had has had trouble with her hands. Um, something similar to carpal tunnel, but it's a different muscle than carpal tunnel. Uh, for a long time now, and she is just she's exhausted, a as anyone would be given her circumstances. But she is exhausted, um, and now my dad can't help the situation as much as he'd like to. And, and I and that's honestly that's been the hard part. The physical parts suck. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna say that. You know, not having him be able to cook or you know really clean around the house much or whatever isn't a challenge. The real challenge isn't that. The real challenge is he's always been the most independent of us. He's the neatest of us. He, you know, he'd love to contribute. He'd love to help in any way he could, but he can't right now. And that's honestly pretty depressing for him, as you'd imagine it'd be uh, for anyone in that sort of situation. Um, and he may never work again because he'd always work this, you know, really physical blue collar kind of labor and yeah, he might walk again. He might, you know, even, you know, do basic light jogging or other exercise again, but climbing ladders and working heavy machinery doesn't seem as much of an option, especially not doing it for extremely long hours the way he was before. But we can't give up hope. We'll find some way to get through it, no matter what that way may be. And uh, one way or another, uh, we will figure out what happens next to us as a family together. And one way or another, we'll, I will find a way to be independent of, of my dad and my mom, who have been extraordinarily good to me all these years, I must say. Um, did all of my other villagers die? What? I mean, granted, a lot of them were really dumb and would just wander out and not come into their houses at night. But I thought I had another villager left other than the one I had trapped in there. Ugh. Miserable. I like this system. The system works for me. Anyway. Um. I have to say though, um, for the nighttime hunts that happen sometimes on this server, this area is fantastic because there's nothing else around for ages. I only wish I had better armor so that um, I could go through more without uh, getting hurt and having to come back. Because I'm not, I'm not that good at actual combat in Minecraft, but I like to pretend I am. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I know it's the edge of my domain. There.
I'm gonna have to find a friend for you at some point and trap trap them inside too. Sorry, buddy. Uh, actually, let's do some more wheat trading since we can. That's all I've got. Okay. Uh, food. Delicious food. Carrots. Nom nom nom. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what's been up with my dad, and that's why I've, um, it's only recently that he's been able to be independent enough that I can just be here on my own computer and rethink what I'm doing. And, you know, the interesting thing and the funny thing is all of this stuff with my job search not going well, um, you know, with how I'm not quite independent yet and all of that stuff, it honestly motivates me to do YouTube more. As weird as that is, and as counterintuitive as that probably is. Because this makes me happy. And there is a chance, however microscopic, that it'll be possible for me to do this for a living. I like the look of that, whether or not I actually use those two mini chests. I like the look of it. Anyway, um, whether or not I do YouTube as a living, um, I know it's a possibility for some people. And if I ever want that to happen, I need to work now and quickly on it and be utterly devoted to the idea and honestly now is my best chance now is when I might be able to pull it off because right now you know my parents are able to help support me um, my, my partner has been rock star awesome when they can. Um, I, other than my student loans, I don't have many expenses. I still have access to my desktop on a regular basis. And people, people care about my let's playing for, for whatever insane reason. You know, people are watching. And I, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, who has enjoyed my videos, who has left a like, you know, who has subscribed, who has contacted me on Twitter um, to say thank you. That, that all means a lot to me. And it gives me hope that this crazy idea of playing video games for a living is even vaguely possible for me. And I'm not saying, oh, I'm gonna be a full-time YouTuber and that's my only plan, because that'd be silly. Uh, we all know how silly that is, but if any weird thing is possible for me, this might be it. And I'd be extremely grateful to each and every one of you if it is. So that's the deal with my dad. I've moved all the stuff in here and claimed a little more space, uh, both of which are good things that desperately needed to happen. Uh, I guess I can start working on the wall. I wanted to make here. Okay, that's everything I can make so far. No, you can't get in. I'm not gonna let you. I've already- I've, I've had enough of, uh, losing all of my villagers. That's so frustrating. There were actually a lot of villagers here. Most of their trades are terrible. But at, at least they were here. You know? Um, so those temporary uh, gold blocks and stuff you're seeing, for those of you that don't know, um, these are 
claim areas in uh, in the server. Basically, um, within the corners that you see, no one can build but me, and uh, no one can access the chests inside but me, which is uh, very handy. I basically have these two claims right next to each other. I wonder if I can join them somehow. Uh, and the way you deal with them is various commands with right-clicking bones. See? Uh, I know it overlap another claim. Do I have to abandon the first claim and then... But if I abandon the claim, then the water will uh, dissipate. Dang it! Dang it! Oh well, I, I guess I'll keep them as separate for now. It's only one block, it's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. Cops of blocks. Yeah, I know. Uh, at least I'm earning claim blocks while I'm doing this. Um. Yes, I know. I can earn up to 57 more blocks. Uh, oh. Actually, I probably don't need to have this part connecting here. I can just use the... Uh, the building itself is part of the, the wall. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I would love to do YouTube for a living. It, it sounds so silly and so, you know, pie in the sky to, you know, sit around playing video games for a living, but regardless, it's, it's something I think would be really interesting and amazing. It's some place where I think I have a really unique perspective. Uh, and you know, it it'd be a different experience than constantly trying to please other people <laughs> as I keep trying and failing to do when finding a quote unquote normal job. So maybe it's for me. Who knows? And I guess there's only one way to find out. And I'm really grateful to each and every one of you who along the way is supporting me while I pursue something that is that crazy. So I think I'm going to end it here. We've made it some progress. Not as much as I'd like, but a little. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching and for listening. It means a lot. I will see you next time.